Yo, what's up, y'all? This is All Guys here, back with another video. And today's video is going to be on the backlash that this game called Seafood's been getting by the left wing extremists. Because, of course, <clears throat> first I want to give y'all my uh, thoughts on the game. It was pretty dope, in my opinion. It's a pretty good homage for all the old school kung fu movies from Hong Kong and Taiwan and mainland China and whatnot from back in those days in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. So, looks pretty dope for our fun. Uh, same with it. <clears throat> anyway, now I want to talk about the backlash that's been getting. And oh boy, it is straight up stupid and obvious. Excuse me. Excuse me again. They're, they're complaining about the fact that the game ain't made by Asians and that it's cultural appropriation because it's created by white people. Why? I'm like, <clears throat> oh boy. What, what, what can I say? <clears throat> it's stupid. I, for real. Yo, no, no bullshit. It, it, it's just straight up stupid, yo, for real. It, it's, it's, it's the comp, it's Ghost of Tsushima all over again, y'all. I mean, let's keep it 100 here. It's the same kind of backlash that Ghost of Tsushima has gotten. It's straight up similar. A lot of folks complain about the fact that that game was was created by white folks, which is stupid. <clears throat> by by that logic, these folks should complain about games like Silent Hill, Metal Gear Solid, the Streets of Rage franchise, and Resident Evil. Those games weren't created by Americans; they were created by Japanese uh, developers. Oh. Oh yeah, let's, oh, there's also the Soul series, including uh, Bloodborne. Those games were created by Japanese developers too, especially with Silent Hill. <clears throat> Even though it takes place in America, it was created by Japanese developers. Same thing with Resident Evil, uh, Biohazard, aka Resident Evil. Same thing with the Metal Gear franchise and the Soul series, and uh, the and the ones created by From Software, uh, Bloodborne, another game by From Software. Those games were created by Japanese people. And none of these motherfuckers complain about that shit. None. I've heard nothing from the from these fools. None from them. <clears throat> which with which they and not to mention there's also um Attack on Titan. It was inspired by, you know, Middle for Europe and all and whatnot. No, no, no complaints from these guys. Not at all. And, and with the whole cultural appropriation argument, it's, it's, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again, cultural appropriation is a bunch of nonsense, y'all, for real. It, it is. It's nothing more than an excuse for these fools to just moral grandstand and to make themselves feel important and make themselves look like they're the more ethical and moral ones, which they really aren't. <clears throat> And on to the other complaint that, that the game ain't made by Asian people. Again, so what? And these fools don't seem to realize is that <clears throat> there are plenty of video games, movies, novels, etc., etc., that have, you know, that are created in Asia. And uh, let, let, let me expand on that. There are plenty of Asian stories created by Asian people in Asia. <clears throat> I'm not just talking about East Asia with Japan and Hong Kong, Taiwan, and, and uh, mainland China and South Korea and, North, and uh, North Korea. I'm also talking about in South Asia and uh, Southeast Asia and West Asia too. Like I said before, <clears throat> Japan is may has its like Japan, Hong Kong, Taiwan, South Korea, North Korea, uh, Mongolia, the Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, the Maldives. <clears throat> you, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, Sri, also Sri Lanka. So there are plenty, and a lot of those uh, Asian countries that I, that I named have plenty of of great awesome stories and like in movies, video games, novels, etc., etc. Et <clears throat> and that's the pro and that's one of the biggest problems with the left wing extremists and fundamentalists is that 
they think that um, Hollywood is the is the only place for entertainment when in actuality it ain't. And speaking of which, <clears throat> you have you know with uh, there's a Chinese opera like like the Cantonese opera, um, Peking opera, Hokkien, uh, uh, the Hoklo, the opera of the Hoklo people, and uh, uh, Tio Cho opera. <clears throat> you know they you have these many different styles. You also have uh, Japanese kabuki and the No Theater in Japan. I don't even know it's so Japanese, but anyway. You also have, you know, ancient entertainment in South and North Korea, traditional entertainment anyway. And it also the modern stuff too. <clears throat> There's also have a uh, lot you have uh, the Korean dramas and Japanese dramas. And you also got uh manga and anime in Japan, uh manhua in in uh Korea, especially South Korea. You also got Manhua in Hong Kong and Taiwan. And speaking of Hong Kong, Taiwan, there's a lot of awesome and kick-ass martial arts moves from those from those uh, places, and especially in Taiwan and Taiwan's country. Well, anyway, like <clears throat> for example, this is the most that were made by Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Jet Li. You also got films by Angela Mao. You also got films made martial arts films in Japan with Sonny Chiba, Hiroyuki Sonata. He also got the Shinobi, Mo, Shinobi no Mono films in Japan. <clears throat> you also got the stuff made in Taiwan, like I said, and martial arts films in Taiwan as well. Oh yeah, there's also uh, Thailand. Thailand has this, uh, has some uh, dope entertainment over there as well, especially the martial arts films with uh, Tony Tony Ja, his late mentor Panarita Cry. There's also J uh, J Yan in too, on too. <clears throat> Especially with Thailand's traditional entertainment, you know, outside of, you know the uh, th uh, their uh, Muay Thai, Muay Brahma, and whatnot. But anyway, and another thing too with these uh, left wing extremists is that they think that the martial arts is exclusive to Asian cultures, when in actuality, it that's that's not true at all. Uh, <clears throat> Every culture has their own form of martial arts, martial fight, and, you know, martial fighting. Uh, you have the European martial arts, especially the ancient stuff and historical European martial arts, and the uh, ones that are made in the, um, <clears throat> in the um, Victorian era, well, not like Savat and well, not in uh, Bartitsu. You also got, you know, African martial arts have been around since ancient times, since, like, prehistory and whatnot. Same thing with the um, European martial arts. <clears throat> And uh, no, you also have the indigenous peoples of the Americas, like North America and South America and, Cent and uh, Central America, but they have their own form. The indigenous peoples of those places have their own form of martial fighting. <clears throat> the same thing with the Polynesians. Like the uh, Maori people, they have their own form of martial, forms of martial arts, like uh, Maori Kwa, for example. You also got <clears throat> you know, the Lua, the Hawaiian, mark, the ancient Hawaiian martial art. And you also got the Samoan warriors have their own form of fighting. And so, and so does the warriors of, like, ancient warriors of Tonga and uh, Fiji, etc. Like, <clears throat> not to mention, you also have the Australian Aborigines and the many different tri uh, Australian Aboriginal tribes have their own form of martial fighting. And also, like I said, with the Americas, with... Um, Capoeira in Brazil. There's also Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You got um, the Esgrima Criola <clears throat> and like in Argentina. You also got the uh, the martial arts in the uh, Caribbean islands. That's also in America. It's like uh, Kalinda, which is the traditional uh, stick fighting of uh, Trinidad. You also got, you know, um, Haitian machete, machete fencing called uh, Tia Machete. Uh, yeah, if I remember correctly. You also got, uh, you know, the machete fights in the Dominican Republic and all, and th things like that. It's like, there, there's a whole bunch, bunch of stuff that I can go on and on about, you know what I'm saying? So, because, again, it, it, it goes to show that every culture has their own form of martial arts and martial fighting. The, marsh, the practice of fighting martial arts is... Like it, it's universal. It transcends nationality and ethnicity and whatnot. So, which makes the whole cultural appropriation argument 
and the whole only Asians, that only Asians have the martial arts is freaking stupid <clears throat> and ridiculous, period. So, overall, this uh, Sifu, the, the game, it doesn't deserve the this backlash that, that has gotten by these left wing extremists. But, but then again, that, you know, what, 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 what can y'all, what can you expect from these, these dudes, man? Because they, they ain't consistent. They don't present any real uh, arguments and real critiques at all. They just want to complain. And it also goes to shows that these game that these game journalists these days are just a complete freaking joke. I mean, for real, for real. So that's all I got to say about this topic. Hope y'all enjoy this video. If you like, you, you can go, if you like this, you can, you know, hit the like button. If you want, if y'all want to subscribe, then, hey, that's cool too. But anyway, this is Olagaji. Sign out. Peace.